Right now, wait times at the bridges are longer than expected as hundreds of CBP officers are temporarily assigned to help agents deal with the influx of immigrants crossing our borders. CBS 4's Jelani Martinez spoke with one local business who says the traffic at the ports of entry are putting a strain on owners. Bell peppers, strawberries, bananas, and even dried foods. All of those boxes over there are tamarind. We got onions. We have some peanuts. These are just some of the products Grande Produce imports from Mexico. But the produce transportation company is experiencing a delay in the arrival of those goods. What usually was one day to come in to get out, get out the U.S. and go back to whichever part in Mexico. Now it's taking about three or four days. Crispin Flores, president of the Mid Valley Customs Brokers Association, meets with CBP monthly and says the long wait times is due to limited personnel. We know that resources from this area and actually all along the, the southern border have been transferred over to other areas to deal with the immigration issue. That has caused delays at the bridge. Delays that are costing Cano more money. All of those trucks, that are, uh, Mexico trucks that are coming across, they are taking longer to go back. The problem that we're seeing right now is that we're having a hard time finding trucks in Mexico to bring those loads and the few that are uh, available, they are, they're increasing the rates, so we're paying more money for the freight. Cano says the longer the trucks are sitting at the bridge, the shorter the time perishables like mangoes or even pineapples will have on the shelves. If the trucks are going to be sitting on the Mexico side to come across for three days, it's three days less of shelf life that we are taking away from the product. Grande Produce distributes to businesses locally and across the country. While they have rooms filled with inventory, Cano says that may change at the rate the lines are moving. We're going to have to be late with our deliveries with our customers or eventually we're not going to have enough product to supply all of our orders. Reporting in Hidalgo County with Complete Valley coverage, Jolani Martinez, CBS 4 Valley tonight. Flora says he spoke with uh, CBP officials who say they are starting to bring back some of the officers. We reached out to confirm that, but CBP declined to comment.